you happen to find a window valance, canopy panel, bed skirt, or something of that sort with a fun trim or eyelet on one side, then you can definitely use this here like I did, but it is totally fine to just do something from scratch. If you have a lot of material like me, you can steal some trim from the valance or whatever you may have to put on the other side of the shirt. Take some of the one-sided material, which will be the length of the shirt front and back, and fold it in half where the neck will be. It's okay if there's no trim on one side, you can add the trim on both sides later. I used a shirt that had the flutter sleeves and mimicked it by tracing the shape into a long, thin trapezoid. This can still be done without a flutter sleeve shirt to mimic, you just have to make a similar shape like you see here. Double check to make sure the trapezoid is symmetrical and that it lays on the body where you want it to. Sew the shoulder edges together. Open it up outside facing up and pin the trim to the edges. This is where you can add trim on both sides or in my case, I just had to add it to one side. Fold it at the neckline and then down the center to cut out the neckline. Cut the front neckline just a little deeper and it'll look like this. Open it up and double check your work on another shirt or on your body. Fold under the trim and lay it centered on the shirt. Grab extra material, or for me, more balance or bed skirt material, and mark the outline of the sides of the shirt. Cut that out. Sew the shoulders up. Open these long strips and line them up on the edges of the inner shirt piece with the ruffles facing inwards. So, open everything up and cut off the bottom to make it even and hem. About a quarter inch once and then a quarter inch again. Make sure to sew the ruffles bottom edge under first and then hem the rest, leaving the ruffle out. Hem the neckline by folding under a quarter inch twice and sew. Flip everything open and fold under the edges of the shirt. Half inch once and then a half inch again. Sew up the sides if you don't want the lace up detail, but make sure you can pull it over your shoulders and chest. If you do want the lace up details, then mark and sew where you want the buttonholes to go on the folded edge of the side of the shirt. Make sure you give your armholes enough room. Cut open the buttonholes, then lace through whatever material you want, like a simple shoelace string. I taped off the ends to make it easier to thread through. Just tie a bow and that's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Subscribe below and you can catch more refashions to come.